just gonna stick them right on the coals, just like that. Just pss. on this side. Delicious. Okay guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to cook steak. But what are you gonna do if you don't have a frying pan and you don't, didn't have anything you could hang it over the fire with? You don't have a grill, nothing like that. This is a great way to cook steak that people have been doing for thousands of years. All we're gonna do is get these nice embers like this. You can't do this unless you got really nice big embers like this. We're just gonna get all these big embers just like this and just kind of break them apart. And then I'm gonna just puff them with my breath. I'm trying to get rid of all the ash as possible. The ash is edible, so it's not gonna hurt you. Now, the next thing we're gonna do, I just got my two steaks here, and I'm just gonna stick them on the outside of the bag so I give them some salt and pepper. I don't know where you get your meat, but where I get my meat, it doesn't come seasoned. So, now I'm just gonna put some salt and pepper on it. And I want plenty of salt and pepper on them. I'm out here sweating, I need my salt. And then we're gonna put a little bit of pepper on them. And then I'm gonna put them right on the coals. So we're just gonna take them just like this. We're just gonna stick them right on the coals, just like that, just pss, right on the coals. Some salt and pepper on the other side. Just a little bit of salt. And some pepper. On this side. Now we're just gonna let those cook. And right here you can see the progress of our steaks cooking. The, the, the fats and everything are starting to render down. This is really gonna be yummy when it's done. All right, it looks like our steaks are pretty much done on this side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick them up and we're just gonna take the coals off, just lay it right back down in the coals, just like that. We're gonna do the same thing with the other one. And you should, would not believe how hot it is coming off this fire. And believe it or not, as you can see, the steak is clean. Okay, maybe for the most part. Just let it cook for a few more minutes and it'll be done. All right, what I'm doing right now is I just made a couple primitive plates here and I'm just gonna put them on the coals to warm them up. I just wanna make sure that I get them nice and warm so that way it doesn't cool down my steak too much because this, <clears throat> it is about 30 degrees out and I don't wanna put nice warm steaks on a cold piece of wood and then all of the warmth from the wood just takes all the, or all the warmth of the steak gets lost because of how cold the wood is. Those are getting pretty warm. A Couple more seconds and we're ready to, ready to chow down. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take the first one off the fire. All the coals are off. Set that over here. Get the other one. Get the last couple coals that are on there off. There you go. A real nice, looks like about a real nice medium right there. Now, let's go eat. So now, I'm just gonna cut into this and see how it turned out. I mean, you can see, nicely cooked. Delicious. Not only that, you would think it'd be real gritty because of the charcoal. It's not, there's no grit at all. You've probably seen it on the Food Network. You can also do it out here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up. That helps support the channel. I'll leave links to videos here here and here and there'll also be a subscribe button right here if you're not a subscriber please click the subscribe button i do post videos weekly also man that steak was good also leave a comment down below what you think thanks guys see ya okay is it recording yep coming a little bit closer the nice thing about using wooden plates is there's no washing up you simply point down the fire. You simply just place them on the fire and they burn away and then more grow back.